What do you think old Jared did? What do I think Jared's got? He's got less than me and he ain't gonna like that. But that's okay, I like that. As long as I beat him, it's a good day. <laughs> now he may tell everybody he's got more than me, but nah. You gotta ask him how many he got first. That's and the then you go count at the bird room, then you get your true number. <laughs> I mean, he might be, though. I, I kind of want to cover I want to cover the shot from here. You want me to get out of the way? You get your shot, then Let I go in? Let me take four frames, and we're yeah. good. Huh? Let me shoot four frames, and you can jump in. You know, we've always had a team here at Honey Break, but I think every year we just get a little better and we get a little stronger. You know, we got people from all parts of the country. Some are better than others at other things, but we got a heck of a team. And when you put it all together and you're your brother's keeper, it just, it makes it happen. It's a grind for 60 to 80 days, you know? And that's what's uh, so special about my team. They all get along with each other. They take care of each other. And it's not about who's harvesting more or killing more. It's about trying to take care of the other and let him have a good hunt and help take care of his clients and being a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. And that's what we build off of. You know, we've been doing this for a long time, and, and um, if you're going to say anything about our team here at Honey Break, we've been through a lot of folks, and the one thing I can, I can say is this year, as many challenges as we had, um, the team that we've assembled has really stepped up. I can't say enough about them. Honey Break team's strong. We work very well together. The attendance is, is phenomenal with everybody, and everyone's driven the same, and everybody wants to be successful. It's cool to be a part of it. Teamwork makes the dream work. Around here, everybody does their job to a T, and it makes things go so smoothly. We're like a well oiled machine. We're one big family here. Everybody that works here, that guides here, this is where they want to be. You couldn't have them go anywhere else. They can't be had, so I think that, that says a lot in itself. Well, being, being a part of this team is truly an honor. I mean, we get to, get to be here on this beautiful property with a great group of guys, and the hunting's phenomenal, and a lot of good clients that come through. The team of guys we've got this year is probably the strongest that we've ever had. The guys that have been here year after year, they really know the drill, so it makes for a well-rounded, strong group of guys. I mean, we're one big family down here. We're kind of like the Brady Bunch. He don't even thank them, he just does his little own thing. <laughs> Mark. Hank. Yee <laughs> Oh, look at here, right here, for my little old buddy right here, Mr. Bart, Bart, Woo! Bart. Now look right here, Bart. Just so you'll know it's your first time right here, you grab him behind the wings right there and you put the old killer on him. Oh, get it He gone. Big fat back mallard right there, son. That's not bad for Look at yonder. Look at that. See? Woo! Did you hear that, Madison? We shot. <laughs> hey! He put it in his mouth. Kill him. Kill him right there. Kill him. I guess the first
first thing that comes to mind is uh, with Jared is either going to be passion or eat up with it. That, that would be the that would be the closest thing I could describe Jared in that in that smallest in that smallest sentence. Jared Moffitt is probably hands down one of the best guys I've ever met. I mean that says a lot to me because I've been around a lot of them and. I feel like I can cover the base on just about anything, and I, he goes above that, and I learn a lot from Jared. I've learned a lot from Drew. They ain't a foot apart. Y'all got them where they ain't a foot apart. A lot more to this than just looking and going. It's thinking and using your little brain. As finely tuned as this place is, there's always room for improvements. Just ask Jared. Is that blind right now, Jackson? You may be hunting. <laughs> Jared. Mad at him. Jared's definitely mad at him. This letting the fourth group of birds come in. Gray ducks, teal. I said, well, that was ringnecks, the first group that come through. Kill him. The second group that come through was gadwall, as you call mallards. Kill him. Hey, get out of it. The third group that come through was gray ducks, you call pintail. Yeah, kill him. And then the last group was ringnecks when you thought they were teal. <laughs> You know, that's the name of the game. You gotta go, you don't ever know. You just gotta be there every day. Cause that old saying, you should have been here yesterday, that's 100% true in the duck world. You may go one day when you think it's no way I'm gonna go back the next day and kill a limit, and you do, or you may go one day and say, it's no way I'm gonna go back the next day and not kill a limit, and you go back and kill five. It's just, you gotta be there. You don't know till you go, so go. <laughs> Get up in them. Get these little sticks of dynamite out. I kind of feel like Mr. Rogers every morning coming in here, taking off my sweater and a little hat. Putting on another sweater and another little hat. What? Huh? We're gonna need two of them mojos this morning. Probably not gonna need them, but we're gonna take them anyway. Drew Keith, he's a one of a kind. He treats me like a son, he's charismatic, he's a great guy. That chucker is big, real big. My first impression when I met Drew, um, what a big man. I, I'm, I'm a pretty big boy myself, but when you lay eyes on Drew, you go, that's a new definition of big. <laughs> get him, get him. Drew's always there if you need something. Easy to get along with, hunt with. Does a lot for, for me and the people here at Honey Break. And my first season here, but he's a guy that you feel like you've known him for your whole life, you know. I like working with Drew because he uh, he treats us all the same. Everybody here is the same, same employee. I mean, we all might have different jobs, but to him, we're all people. And that means a lot. He's a good guy to work for, for sure. You wouldn't be doing what we love without Drew, so, I mean, he's the backbone to it. I know there's a lot of different parts, but he's the reason we're here. Shoot him, Landon. Shoot him, Landon. Ah -ha! Give me some, big dog. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I, that made the day right there, buddy. That made the day right there, brother. Big custom, Mark Heron. If I was gonna describe Mark, I guess it would be the, the old guard. You know, just the, um, I mean, he's, he's been around. He's done this, he's been doing it, you know, longer than, as far as hunting goes, longer than we have. He's the, the oldest one of our group, but has had his own business. Um, he can mechanic on just about anything. Yeah, MacGyver wouldn't be a bad word for him, <laughs> you know. Mark, the godfather, I call him. Leader, ring leader, team leader. Knows if people are feeling down, how to lighten the mood, or, or to kind of bring everybody back into that circle. I feel like Mark is an older version of me. I see a lot of the same qualities I value in Mark. I like Mark. Kill him!
Brody! That's what we like to see. Ducks dying. Good shot. I don't know what I'd be doing if I wasn't guiding duck hunts. It's hard to say. I mean, it's all I've known for the last 12 years. Cody's kind of like a little sleeper cell. He's, he doesn't say a lot, but uh, he's solid. He's gonna get the job done. Get him, boy! Brody! <laughs> Cody, level-headed. You know, he's, he's hunted a long time. For me, it's the people. I try to get to know everybody that comes through my duck blind. I mean, there's something to learn and something to take away from every individual that we get to spend the morning with. They may show up as a client or just as a guest, but I want them to leave as a friend. Cody's on his way up here. We just finished and uh, it's an hour hunt. You know, I thought it'd be kind of slow to the clouds, but it's turned in to be a good one. We just shot 24, we're gonna ease out. Cody's gonna come in here and see what he can do. Jeremy and I are boys. We, we run together a lot, sometimes 200 days a year. Before honey break, uh, man, I was in the Army for a really long time. Um, three deployments. That's what I've done. That's what I've done most of my adult life. Jeremy is wise for his age. I mean, he's got the, the military background, but he still, when he shaves that little beard off, he's still got those little kid dimples. You know, so he still, he still gets giddy about it. Kill him. Kill him. Uh, when I think of Jeremy, I think of somebody who, who's always entertaining and keeps the group laughing. When I got out of the Army and I had to do something, they said, well, you got to make a living doing something now, so might as well have fun. So I guided ducks in Arkansas for a long time, and then here I am. So everybody wants to work for the best, so I feel like wherever you start out, this is where you want to end up. Nice little greenhead came in here and sat right and tight, put his feet down. Madison. If I was going to describe Madison, I guess I would say slow and steady. Madison. He's a little slow, but uh, man, he's great with the clients. Uh, a really good duck hunter. Old Matty Cat. One of a kind. One of a kind for sure. Well, I've been duck hunting since I was four years old. Grew up doing it on our family farm. He talks real slow and he does get a little elevated, but it's more of a giggle whenever he gets elevated. Drew Keith, he um, talked about as fast as I do slow. Um, I found out about Honey Break through the Honey Break experience. I've been watching it since I was young and watching Jared and Drew and I wanted to be a part of that. How about that? Was that great? Fantastic. Thank you. We did get a new guy this year, uh, Salmonella. Salmon, man, he gets called about everything under the sun. He come uh, with a pretty good resume, so he's good. I mean, you'd pretty much think that he had been here all along. He kind of fit in very well with us. Simon from Wisconsin, he's, uh, he's learned a lot this year. If I was gonna say a statement about him, I'd say great potential. It's his first year here, it's thrown into the lion's den and he would go out and put the time in and put the, do the scouting and, and sit in the bushes and, and uh, he knows what it takes to make the clients happy and, and uh, like I say, that's great potential. Even though duck season is only a few months, it, it's year-round work. Um, so Jared, Drew, all the crew, Cole, um, you know, they put in a lot of work and a lot of hard, hard hours um, before we even got here. So hats off. Honey break experienced a uh, pretty good flood, 100 year flood. I was in college at the time and I grew up just 10 minutes up the road. I was getting ready to graduate that year and uh, Drew called me up and wanted to know if I could uh, come, come lend a hand, do some extra work. I started working part time running equipment and then ended up just hanging out and 
staying around. I got invited to the guide meeting, and I've been here ever since. What happened, Carl? What happened? Five come in, five hit the water. That's what happened. What you think? Cole Cooper, man, he's a hard worker. He's a hard worker. Driven, hard worker, motivated. Cole works on the farm year round here. I mean, he's busting his butt every day. He works very hard. Cole Cooper Esquire. He's got a, he's got a, a come from a farming background. So I can turn him loose on tractors. I can turn him loose on equipment. Uh, I actually hired him for the deer side of things, but he's he's kind of falling in a lot more the, the duck side of things. So he's solid. How you feeling today, Wes? Fantastic, man. <clears throat> Feels like duck hunting out here. The weather's cold, weather's right. Sun's gonna be shining. Wes, the Missouri killer. Nothing safe around Wes. Easy going, knowledgeable guy. Very easy to be around. Always, always in a good mood. The skies are clear, the winds are none, and the ducks are plenty. The way I was raised, you're supposed to be your brother's keeper. Somebody's gonna have a bad day, somebody's gonna be having a good day, so you gotta be able to take care of them, lift them up, and tote their pack for them when they're having a bad day. Your brother's there to, to help you get through the, the tough times. If I had to describe Wes in one word, I would say smiles. Uh, I mean, he's always he's always got a positive attitude. He's it's always upbeat. He's gonna he's gonna bring you up. Uh, so I mean, that's just part of the experience, and that's and that's something we look for. Making making everything, even though you know it's tough, still having a smile and making it a positive experience. What are our weakest areas or areas that we need improvement? That may be above my pay grade. That may be a Jared Moffitt question. I, I, don't, I can't think of a weakness. I mean, that's why we've gone through so many to get to where we are. I mean, to make this team, there's a, there's a level of <laughs> expectations that you're gonna have to meet. So there's not, as far as a weakness, we just know, I wouldn't say weakness, I don't like that. That sounds negative. It's more of a strong point. There's just strong points. Some are stronger than others. <laughs> it's probably keeping the toilet unclogged at the duck shed. That's probably the biggest weakness. <laughs> Plumbing, that's their biggest weakness. <laughs> to Drew, it's his deer lodge, and he spends more time checking deer cameras and running around, putting out rice bran and stuff than he does. <laughs> God, you can't do that. I, I had it good. <laughs> I, said, I saw that old turkey head pop up and look. At 37 years old, I've lived a lot of lives, so I feel like. Traveled the world, owning businesses in other places. The biggest lesson I've learned here is that if you want it, you just keep pushing. Keep working every day to be where you want to be. And then one day you'll wake up here. <laughs>